Hey, what's up everyone? It's Joe Tamargo from Wedhead Pump Repair, and we're here with another pool pump rebuilding tip. Today we're going to show you how to access the ball bearings inside your electric motor. Okay, so the first thing you always want to do before you take apart the armature and then remove the end bells of your pump is you want to mark the motor casing. This is very important because the end bells on the motor are made out of aluminum. This main part is made out of steel, so what happens sometimes is the aluminum warps, and if you put it together in a different direction that it was assembled, disassembled in, what will happen is sometimes a motor might bind. So what you want to do is get yourself a little oil punch and a hammer, and you want to mark the motor, okay? So what you want to do is you want to put one mark in the front, just like that on the casing, and another mark in the end bell. You want to do one punch on each, and then the back, you want to do two, that way you know it's the back. One. two, okay? And now what that's going to do is you're going to know exactly where to put the end bells together. And once you do the markings, what you want to do is you want to give a nice firm tap on the end bell, just like that. Okay, so if you a nice firm tap, you'll be able to take this out. Now you'll slide your motor armature out, and you'll see that you'll have a bearing retainer, spacer clip in the back. You'll want to make sure it's important. We'll show you how to put that back in later. And you'll see you have a 16203 bearing in the back. Now there is another bearing in the front, but you are not able to access that until you remove this little screw. So what you're going to do is you're just going to loosen this little screw up just like this, right in front. Okay, and there's a little clip behind here. So you're just going to screw this all the way out. Give it a few more turns. We're just going to put it on the bench like this, spin it out. Okay, and that, that little retainer clip's going to fall out here. And what we're going to do is you're going to slide this while rotating it. Now, if you're doing this, you'll see that the bearing will just pop out. Now, you can see this motor, which is a Hayward Super Pump 1 horsepower, has another 6203 bearing in the front. Now, it's very important, before you remove this bearing, okay, you're going to see here, there's a, what they call is a bearing retainer clip. So, what you're going to need is a bearing retainer clip tool to remove that bearing. So, we'll show you later in the video how to remove that bearing retainer clip. But that's how you remove the armature out of your Hayward Super Pump. So if you have any questions, you can send us an email. If not, that's how you remove your armature. 6203 bearing, 6203 bearing. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.